Ladies and gentlemen, now it's 5am here in Basingstoke, England, and I'm just having a look at the patch. It looks like we've got a really, really early patch, very similar to the time the Red Escanor dropped of 7.30pm PST. So if you're in America, this is great news because it's going to drop a little bit earlier in the evening. However, here in England, that means I need to get up at half three to summon on the Escanor banner, man. Uh, but regardless, man, I'm very, very excited. I think tomorrow is going to be an awesome day, and I forgot about all the additional free level 80 characters that do come with the um uh, release of this festival as well so via the step up banner you know we've got like blue demon meliodas red gotha uh, and all that jazz currently available however green arthur man is absolutely insane like a godsend i definitely remembered about him but i forgot also on this uh, kind of special missions part one there's also a level 86 star green escanor a red merlin and a red fighter deanne as well now you know she's maybe not so good but dude, the Merlin and Escanor, if you're a new or progressing player, absolute godsend characters as well. And the Arthur is just like a big carry in so much content. Not to mention on this, there's 200 anvils, 10 hammers, and also I think that's six uh, five-star SSR equipment selectors as well. So yeah, that is such a good additional event, man, for progressing and also... Um, established players as well uh, but also the really good news is we're getting like the god pve food for the duration of this event so the reason this food is like so incredibly good and they actually didn't mention it in the patch notes here but i've got the patch notes from the japanese version is it increases one of them increases damage you deal by 40 percent in every single mode of gameplay aside from deathmatch and pvp and there's also one that decreases any damage you receive by 40% aside from deathmatch and PvP. So it works in story, I believe it works in tower as well. Anything that you might be struggling with and need like a massive booster on, like this combined with either Escanor or Arthur Man, it's going to take you places. Uh, so that, yeah, that's really, really good as well. And there's also the wine that uh, makes you immune to alt gauge reduction effects as well. So that one in certain scenarios may have its uses. But again, I would say the... Um, are the top two are uh, generally the most useful there and i think you get the materials via the uh, the new special boss battle as well uh, so there's some escanor costumes there a hat super awakening coin full token uh, some ur engraving stones there kind of all the general standard stuff as well uh, there is also going to be a daily fort solgress that gives super awakening coins as well which is really really nice there's also hawk's awesome treasure chest which i believe is a side event i forgot exactly is that the I think that's the digging one. Oh, no, it's not the digging one. It's the random chest one there. So, yeah, I remember a little bit about that one, man. That one's pretty good. Again, you got stuff like um, gems, part two, part one SSR tickets. Uh, so, that was a... Um a very nice little bonus event, at least to the best of my memory there. And there's also going to be the King's Exchange shop, which isn't that great. It's all right if you're, like, overloaded on SR pendants and want to get some SSR ones. Um, but, yeah, that's the only uh, super exciting thing there, potentially. But obviously, the big highlight of tomorrow is the release of the one Escanor. So, all the costumes are going to be available. I think they start off all cash only. But then, in two weeks' time, all the parts are going to be available for gems there. Uh, so, yeah, do keep that in mind as well you are going to be able to get all the costumes and they are added permanently uh, even if you are free to play so it looks like initially the only information we have on the banner so far is it's again 900 loyalty points so exactly the same as the japanese version and then you get the choice between goddess elizabeth or the one escanor and generally speaking unless you uh what is it don't have goddess liz and are lucky enough to get escanor on the banner um then yeah pick her if you already get escanor on the banner and you don't have her but aside from that you just pretty much always want to go for the one Escanor, at least in my opinion, man. Because again, getting him 6-6 six, six is very, very nice for all sorts of... Um... Uh, PvE stuff that again is not really too needed when it does come to PvP just due to the fact that most matches are decided by his cards and not his ultimate so it's kind of like the inverse of Lost Fane Meliodas where usually with Lost Fane the ultimate decides the outcome of the battle whereas Escanor Man deals so much damage without the ultimate that again you know he doesn't really need that to finish off some matches there uh, so again looking at the one Escanor banner we kind of covered this the other day as well uh, but hopefully it should be exactly 
exactly the same as the Japanese version. So hopefully we're going to have 0.25%. Hopefully a little bit higher on Escanor, man, but probably not. Uh, on Escanor, Lost Fane, Goddess Elizabeth, Festival King, Green Arthur's in the banner as well. On top of that, you also have... Um, uh, Green Hendrickson. So, you know, if you skip the King banner, man, a really, really good time because this banner has like all of the good stuff that was in that banner and a lot more as well. You've also got a good chunk of the coin shop characters. You've got Red Team Melly, you've got Green Merlin, Red Escanor, Green Esterosa, Red Zeldris, Blue Droll, and then you've got Roxy, Mono, and Camilla there. Uh, so, yeah, those are <laughs> the disaster characters are probably like the worst characters to get in this banner, aside from Shin, man. Green Shin is really, really really good and again on my free to play i'm hoping uh, in a couple of weeks time i'm gonna have the 900 gems to summon on this banner and yeah hopefully we can get escanor and shin man that'd be really nice but also festival king is what i'm after on the free to play but especially when it does come to my whale summons man it is really just all about that 6-6 six, six escanor uh so yeah hopefully we can have a little bit of luck there also on top of that it looks like chapter 16 quests and stages are going to be added so i think this goes up to um uh, just before the fight between the one Escanor and Assault Mode Meliodas. Um, so yeah, we're getting another story chapter, but it doesn't like fully catch us up to the Japanese story just yet. Uh, at least in the best of my memory and understanding there. Uh, and we're also going to be getting the special boss battle uh, Grayon here. Demonic Beast Grayon. Uh, so this is the first time he's going to be dropping on Global. Um, I found him very easy on the Japanese version using the one Escanor and Sariel. But I know a lot of people did have difficulty i need to have a look into um uh, what is it some of the alternate strats there because uh, yeah i think he does hit like a bit of a truck and also remove buffs as well um but yeah i couldn't read any of the abilities when i was like going in for this escanor showcase but he's not too bad like but phase one you can see he's got just under three hundred thousand hit points so you know he's not doing too bad there he's not the most stacked up boss plus you also do have four cards as well and you can see just using escanor cards and sariel cards here i think he did have really really high crit resistance i don't think anything crit uh regardless of our team set up here. So yeah, something to potentially keep in mind as well. But the thing is, Escanor still has so much damage output on this fight, even without landing... Um uh, critical hits and I know the majority of the global community you know has really been hoarding and saving for the one Escanor and just making sure they have those 900 gems so yeah as long as you got him on the team man he's not too bad to deal with I think this is the hardest difficulty as well so phase one the damage output uh yeah really isn't too bad at all man we barely got dented there he is uh life stealing a little bit but it's not too much he does stun Gotha there though but we've got all the Escanor cards here. Uh, I think I go for the merger here. Probably should actually, yeah, the merger's fine. I, I think in terms of play here. Am I saving that Escanor card for next turn? <laughs> we derriere swipe, and then maybe Sario cleave to finish off. So yeah, I actually got quite lucky on the Escanor draw here, man. It was certainly a very, very fortunate run. But moving into phase two, I think this is where some people had slightly more problems in comparison. But obviously going into this with Escanor's ult. And at this point, my Escanor on JP was only 1-6 as well. But his passive uh, peaked at this point in the fight. So again, this is a bit of a, a bit of a weaker Escanor ult. Because Escanor's ult, again, really does scale up quite substantially with the... Um, additional levels which is good in pve uh, and it's certainly you know very nice to have in pvp but it's not 100 percent essential so second phase man he has uh yeah some massive massive health i don't know um where he's gaining the additional health from actually i noticed he had a bonus there so yeah tomorrow i need to have a bit of a look into this fight man and kind of figure out you know uh the strategies and <laughs> everything to uh impart global man but it's been a while since i've had a look at this man however actually phase two we do manage to crit him so yeah i need to do a little bit of research and prepare a guide for that boss tomorrow but yeah he wasn't too bad at least to the best of my memory and again one of the main things that's going to drop is the uh, materials for the super overpowered food uh so yeah really really good to farm for that especially on the highest difficulty so you get like a massive sum of it but you do have i think limited entries per day but i think even on the lower difficulties you can farm some of this food as well so again that food is definitely going to help out if there's something you are struggling in and you also do have a good counter for the um 
uh, what is it special boss as well now on top of that there is going to be if you're a little bit of a blubbery boy i mean you know you've got a lot to wail on tomorrow <laughs> but there's also additional bundles as well so you've got like hero selection step up bundles here i think this one gives you a red escanor that's like fully maxed out level 80 uh, on step one so these are all going to be cash bundles here again just to set expectations and then you've got like a blue zelda step up bundle again you can get him um I think six star fully awakened level 80 there and also on step three you get a six star level 80 fully maxed out lost fame meliodas so again if you're a bit of a blubbery boy but also like newer or a bit more of a progressing player again these bundles are pretty damn ridiculous in terms of their value but the thing is as well like a lot of people you know everybody's going to be summoning on the one escanor banner and i assume a lot of people are going to be getting quite lucky and getting lost fame meliodas uh plus as well with the release of the one Escanor, it does bring down the value of um, uh, Lost Fame Meliodas when it does come to PvP, but he's still an exceptional character when it comes to a lot of PvE content as well, and I think there are still going to be future metas and scenarios where Lost Fame is viable. Lost Fame Meliodas is still very far from being a bad character, but just with the release of the one Escanor, you know, he's a unit that's pretty much designed to hunt down Lost Fame Meliodas there, uh, so yeah, we'll see how that one turns out, uh, but aside from that, we're also going to get a, a new Hawk Pass as well, uh, uh, what is it guild wars is coming back for the third season already man so yeah that's that's mad we've just had season two zenith absolutely destroyed everybody again nobody is even like being honest man come close to like toppling our defense yet uh so this is a good time you know another 60 gems in the, the bank for the big old blobbery boys there uh also oh my god dude this is the best change in the world possible max item storage has finally been increased to 500 wow I didn't even see that when I first read these notes. This is the best change. Of, dude, I've been waiting for ages on this one. I think since the release of, like, Lost Fane or Goddess Liz, they've had this on the Japanese version. So, yeah, this is actually insane, man. I'm so happy about this change. So, I think you do need to buy this one with gems. But, again, I'm, I'm very, very happy to see this, man. This is absolutely phenomenal. Dude, I've been waiting for this for so long. 400 items storage capacity is so low on global in comparison jp so yeah that's amazing news and also on top of that with the release of the brand new green arthur the um uh, the red and also blue versions are getting slightly buffed as well so yeah they get more attack more defense and also uh yeah more health as well and also a bit more lifesteal on top of that so yeah that's really really good uh but aside from that that's pretty much it for today's uh patch notes breakdown again tomorrow's update is looking really really nice there's gonna be a lot going on uh hopefully a lot of uh, happy people summoning on the escanor banner but again i do encourage all of you to go in with the expectation that you are only going to get one copy of Escanor, and that copy is going to be if you go 900 gems deep and get the guaranteed one. Because again, with like a 0.25% uh, drop rate, uh, it's pretty damn low that you're going to see an Escanor, man. I, I did like 1,200. I think in the end, it was close to about 1,800 and a bit gems on my live stream. And I didn't see any additional copies of Escanor outside of the guaranteed. So yeah, it was savage, man. It was really, really harsh. So yeah, just keep your expectations low for the banner is, uh, you know, my, my, my piece of advice for tomorrow. Uh, but Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, if you did enjoy the patch notes breakdown, please do smash that like button. That would be greatly appreciate it. But aside from that, thank you all very much for watching. Take care, and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day.